the fire that burns the brightest in the Raiders organization is the will to win. And boy, was that fire burning bright today. Hey, man, we got this. We needed this. Now we, all we're going to do is build from this, man. Great win, man. Great win. We needed this, man. Guts, tears, hard work. We battled our ass off and we did it, baby. Ready nation, baby. Feel good. Feel good to be back. Been gone too long. That is awesome. Welcome to Raiders Game Day, presented by America First Credit Union. You know they're having a good time. Oh I'm Aaron Coscarelli. I brought alongside me my shutdown corner in Eric Allen. I needed a six-time Pro Bowler <laughs> perspective on this. And boy, it has Ooh. got to feel good to I mean, win on the road. Another stellar performance already in 2020. Another big-time signature win already. Raiders getting done. This is an organizational win today. Have to be so excited about Raider Nation. A statement win by Derek Carr, by John Gruden, and the rest of the Raiders. Carr winning for the first time at Arrowhead. Previously, he was 0-6. There is a lot to get to yes. on our show today. Let's show you guys what's on tap for Raiders game day. Of course, we've got game highlights. We're going to break it down for you. We've got Gruden and Raider player reaction. It is Hispanic Heritage Month. Of course, we're celebrating it here on the show. And a breakdown of the first quarter of the season as the Raiders head into a bye. I'm curious how the first half highlights turned out. You, EA, yes, want to look let's alongside? Get it let's get this party started. Derek Hart, previously 0-6, not great at Arrowhead, but Henry Rugg, Henry welcome Rugg. Well, back. Yes, welcome back. A chunk play right away. And again, we always talk about speed guys, but he's going up, challenging on a 50-50 mm -hmm. ball. Highest point, taking it off the helmet. What an outstanding, this young man around the Ooh, league, they wait. know about rugs. That's right. The things he does for this offense. Look at that catch. Oh, That's the insane. concentration. Jeez, oh. 46 yards. Pre-snap penalties led to a field goal. Raiders first on the board, but Patrick uh -oh. Mahomes, what? This is what's happening right here. Chris Smith. That D-line, oh, Ooh, they had so much energy wait. and passion today. Played extremely well against the Chiefs. Smith just activated from the practice squad this week, already making an impact. Didn't slow Mahomes down for long, though. Mahomes yeah. with the touchdown. He's good, Aaron. He's got some I mean, wheels. outside the pocket, he can <laughs> run or throw, and just making plays. 7-3, Chiefs in the lead, and Carr with an interception. First yeah. of the season. But he gets a tackle, though. He gets a tackle. He's credited. The Brashad Breland interception. Tyreek Hill, they capitalize. On that and this is what we're used to seeing, the misdirection, yeah. the big time plays for the Kansas City Chiefs, but we answer back. Nelson, amen, 59 yards, touchdown catch and run. We talked about the Raiders needing to take more shots down the field and they listened to us. Man, he does such a great <laughs> job of finding that hole. Derek Carr puts it right on him and all he does is catch touchdowns. That's Nelson good. Aguilar, one of my favorites going into the season. <laughs> All right, third and goal we go. Mahomes escaping the pocket oh and goodness. finds Sammy Watkins. <sighs> Does so much damage outside the pocket. First play on the following drive. Devontae Booker, 43 yards. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about Gruden his impact. Oh, John Gruden loves dual backs. Guys would be able to get up to their level. You see what side they're running on, too. They're running on Trent Brown. That big arms of line did outstanding job. Booker trying to finish the runoff. Mm, that's right. Trent Brown back after missing a couple of games with an injury to his calf. And how about Darren Waller? Oh, man. Darren Waller letting yes. people know that Kelsey's not the only good tight end on this football field. That's right. <laughs> the Raiders now only down by four. 21-17 is the score. As you know, DC is happy right now. Looking good for the Raiders coming back. Uh, car finding third and Renfro. Yes. Or excuse me, that would be Henry Ruggs. That's Henry down Ruggs. The field. Under, 72 under, yards. Under duress for the young man's first touchdown of many. Just blew right by. And again, the concentration. We understand this guy is a polished receiver. Learned a lot of that at Alabama. But again, outstanding job of getting the ball and getting to the end zone. 
as you take a look at the first half stats, uh, fairly evenly yep. matched, right? 24-24 tied going in uh, to the second half there in Arrowhead. You can see the one turnover, mm -hmm. but what stands out to you? Hmm. Take a look, rushing yards, time yeah. of possession is what maybe you need to do when yeah. you beat a Mahomes team. Aaron, me and you, we're football people, right? So we understand how important that time possession is because, again, if you keep in time possession on your side, you're running the football, you're effective, the flow, and that other guy, that quarterback, is on the sideline. That's not where points. you want to keep him. That's right. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> on the sideline. A combined 48 points in the first half alone. We kind of knew it was going to be a high-scoring game, but how did this second half finish? We're going to show you how the game ended when we come right back. Second half highlights. Don't go anywhere. This has been brought to you by Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. By America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. By Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. By Cox Business, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. The Chiefs, as you are taking a look at our Intermountain Healthcare Performance Center here in Henderson, Las Vegas, Nevada. Look, the Raiders were down by 11 points at one point in the game in the first half, and then they tied the ball game up 24 24. You got to be Battle feeling back. good heading into the second half. Yeah, you go get some Gatorade, get some orange pills, and come out and strap it up. There you go. <laughs> well, let's show you guys how the second half finished, shall we? <laughs> Third and four. They didn't have a trouble. They didn't have a bad time converting. converting Waller right? again, mismatch. Who's going to cover this guy? Nobody's going to cover him. So he's going to be wide open in the middle football field because you've had success running the ball. That's right. Last play of the third quarter. Fourth and one. Guess what? Give it to Derek. Good for the first down. Second and third. Josh Jacobs. O line. Come on. We have Waller come down on a crackback block and the finish from Josh, just extremely a natural runner, love his center of gravity, and he finishes off runs, always falling forward. Well, how about our defense? Max <laughs> Crosby taking down Patrick Mahomes with the sack. Important point, Aaron. I think for the second time this season, we went in the halftime and won the halftime adjustments, particularly up front with our D-line. Derek Carr buying time, finding <laughs> Hunter Renfro. Good for 42 yards. Yeah. They were third and 18. That is oh. why they call this guy <laughs> third and Renfro. That's right. right. <laughs> Unscripted play here. Carr settles outside the pocket. Renfro sits down in the middle of the pocket. Great timing. And whoo we boy, did we need that. The Jeff Heath interception. First Mahomes interception of the season. How good does Tips that Tips and overthrows, okay? <laughs> DBs, focus on the point, grab the fat, and you want to try and take it to the house. And that's what we did. Josh Jacobs just Superman flying <laughs> over the, the line there. The Raiders are now up by 16 with four minutes to go. That's old school football right there. Outstanding job of elevating, getting the ball over the goal line, scoring a touchdown, bringing it home for the Raiders. Bringing it home first and goal, Travis Kelsey, there you go. Finds the end zone, good for the seven yard score. Don't give the Chiefs too much time. And they don't, fourth and one. This is a huge call by the coach, a big gamble, right? Yeah, for sure. Two short yardage, fourth and ones, you go for it behind that powerful offensive line, getting it done and making sure that you're not giving the ball back to that powerful Chiefs offense. And they didn't because they left Arrowhead with a win, 40 to 32, as you are taking a look at the final score. And a guy very happy with his quarterback performance today is a person named John Gruden. Let's hear from coach after the game. Um, I give Derek a lot of credit. He's been through a lot here as a Raider. Uh, this was certainly a big win for him. But uh, hopefully we got a lot more big wins uh, ahead of them. I just hope everybody in Las Vegas uh, that, that is a Raider fan is excited about uh, the young players that we had out there today. And we sure look forward to having them in our stands too. Not with number 15 standing over there. You know, we just did not want to give Mahomes another crack at it. I, 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 um, I, I marveled at a lot of the plays that Derek made. And uh, I certainly marvel at, at what Mahomes is able to do. A lot of his offense is unscripted. It's completely creative, uh, and it's all created by him. And uh, 
thank God we don't have to see them for a few weeks. That will be aggressive. I, you know, we threw it down the field today. On some of the pro football focused statisticians will have to scratch their head. They're going to have to figure out, well, what did, did he really do that? Uh, well, Ruggs is healthy. Ruggs is, is going to go down the field. We tried to get Waller a couple times, but you can't always throw it down the field. They've got Chris Jones and Frank Clark and Honey Badger. And I just am happy that Derek uh, got a big win as, as a starting quarterback, and so did our young football team uh, when it didn't look real good early. Thanks a lot, guys. When it didn't look good early, of course, head coach John Gruden very happy with his young football squad getting yeah. the W, uh, a place that his team has had difficulty in. What stood out to you with what coach said and maybe how he said it? Yeah, he's <laughs> checking off all the boxes. He's saying, hey, we can't throw deep here. Here's a couple deep throws for you. You can't run the ball. Here's we're going to run the ball for you. You got the guys who are <laughs> banged up and injured. Well, these guys are going to play this week against Kansas City Cheese. We're not going to wait and hold them out for the bye. Mm -hmm. So this, again, is talks about the depth of your football team it talks about the people you're drafting the people you're bringing in outstanding job from top to bottom the coach did a great job of designing plays designing uh, specific plays for his big time players to get the ball down the field so he's basically saying you guys can need to temper down all this check down car stuff yeah and they were able to handle business speaking of handling business don't go anywhere we are gonna look at Derek Carr and the offense poor performance when we come back I'm gonna also learn how to talk don't go anywhere we'll be right back by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. So detail oriented, a perfectionist, competitive bunch of guys. There was no Super Bowl hangover because the offseason was so unusual. Carr airs it out. Separation. Hold in. Henry Ruggs. The speed. Touchdown. Welcome back to Raiders game day. Uh, the Raiders offense put on a show in Arrowhead dropping 40 on the undefeated <laughs> Chiefs EA. Aaron Coscarelli back with you. Let's talk Derek Carr because we just showed you a play right there with Ruggs that Carr was able to have composure when he needed it. He had that interception and then the very next drive a 59 yard touchdown bomb yeah. to Nelson Aguilar. This guy was able to stay composed but then, uh, but then also take shots. I mean, the, the, the shots today were just timely, perfectly drawn up plays, but they had to execute, and they executed perfectly today. They all really work off one another. Here you have Nelson Aguilar, who understands that he has to get on top of this safety and then run away from it. You see that underneath route took that one safety away. Great throw, the accuracy, being able to be a, a traditional pocket passer and put it right on the money for my man Nelson Aguilar mm. because all he does is catch touchdowns, right? <laughs> and again, making big time plays here. Car, fantastic with the play fake. This oh. is a play that's designed wow. to be in the field. It's called a bang eight or a glance route. You take advantage of the big tight end Waller on the smaller DB. You got to put it up high so only he can catch it. Great route, great accuracy, great play call. Again, so it's matching up. The play calling is complementing the players you have on the football field. This throw Ooh. is under duress. Wow. That's why I was a little short, but mm -hmm. again, they were in a bunch set. That said, run to the Kansas City Chiefs. They brought guys in the box. So now what do you do? You check to a bomb, and he runs right by the corner. <laughs> and right now the corner saying, help, help. There's no help. That's 4140 speed. Just runs away. And as you see, the corner yeah. says, hey, you got this one. They really outstanding job, again, of him showing that he can catch the ball at the top. He's just not a fast guy. He's a complete receiver. As you take a look at Carr's numbers on the day, over 70% completion percentage, passing yards, not too shabby, almost 350, three touchdowns, and of course, a quarterback rating, a passer rating of 126. Let's hear from Carr and his rookie wide receiver after the game. Yeah, it reminds me just of, of the threats, you know, not just Ruggs, but, you know, Nelson and the other guys, uh, the threats I had in college where when we took the field, like, it didn't matter really the coverage they're going to play because everyone can win, you know. How are we on and time? Uh, to have that feeling of, you know, the safety bit because you know they thought we were running a little choice route, you know, the safety bites down and to and to have the there's a lot of things that go into a Vic and the, to have the the knowledge as a quarterback to know 
that you have a guy that runs 4-1, 4-2. Uh, I mean, it feels great. It's, uh, we know we play a physical game. Uh, it's a game of football. Of course, coming in with no offseason, you know, the soft tissue injuries are, you know, have a, have a better chance of, of occurring, which it did. So I was just, you know, credit to the training staff and, and you know, the, the, <clears throat> the strength, strength and conditioning because, you know, I just, you know, worked for the two weeks that I was out, you know, working hard to get back. And I told them I had to be back, you know, to help the team out. Well, like I always tell everybody, it's just, it's just a spark. You know, we need, we need one big play. So we had to come together collectively as a team to do that. So, you know, defense had to, you know, get some stops and we had to make some plays in offense. So I definitely can say that touchdown was, was one of the big sparks in the game. I mean, I, I, I definitely admire Tyreek. I mean, I don't, I don't really compare myself to anyone, but I know, you know, I know I have a role in this offense. I came here to do, you know, what coach wants me to do. So whenever my number is called, I'm going to do, you know, do what I got to do to make my play. And he sure did. Look at that. It just took two receptions, 118 yards, a touchdown, uh, averaging 59 yards per catch. Not bad. But how about Nelson Aguilar? It's good to have players that can be your deep threat, and you've got two of them on this team. Yeah, the receiving core really complements each other. We just showed you two there, but don't forget Hunter Renfro gets it done on third down. And then, again, Brian Edwards, he's done a phenomenal job early as a rookie. But these guys do. They complement mm -hmm. each other. You have your deep threat. You have your guy who's a route runner. You have your third down specialist. And then when Brian gets back, he's going to be a traditional type of big body receiver you have on the outside. So they can do it all along with the play calling, along with the quarterback being very hot, being accurate. Mike Mayock has done a really good job of loading that receiver room up with different varieties of players, just what John Gruden loves. It is no coincidence that when Ruggs plays, this team <laughs> is undefeated. <Hot. laughs> That's right. All right, wasn't all about the offense today. They won this game thanks to the defense in the second half. We're talking the D when we come back. Don't go anywhere. By Sports Water, the official water of the Las Vegas Raiders. Chiefs convert. Mahomes drifting downfield. Intercepted. His first of the season. Jeff Heath comes away with it. And Heath could go. Tripped up by Mahomes inside the five. The Raiders. I see the eyes sparkling from Man. my DB. Aaron Grassley, <laughs> Eric Allen with you. A huge moment, mm. though, in the fourth quarter. The second half defense really, of course, stepping up, holding the Chiefs to just one score. Let's go over some Man. third down stops because I'm sure the Chiefs weren't used to that. Right, Certainly right. not expecting it from the Raiders coming in. Let's take um, a look at this first play. Yeah, they had seven passes broken up in the second half, doing an outstanding job of focusing on the ball, working through the hands we see here. We see the pressure up front. Look at that. The great pressure, and you don't give up. Wow. You continue to chase and chase, try and get that quarterback on the ground. We had a sack here. We had two sacks today. Again, they continue to really pressure the pocket, pressure the passing game. We talked about the intercepts, we talked about the passes broken up, but I just thought today Look at the defensive line really just just balled out, and this is what it's all about. Another another PBU breaking up through. That's my man Mullen there. Excuse me, outstanding <laughs> job again, working through the pocket, through the ball, making a play on the ball, and again it all starts up front with that pressure. He couldn't step into the play, and so you want to have your DBs eyes back to the quarterback, eyeing the point of the ball, catching the fat. Oh, man. And we wanted to go to the house, though. If he didn't went to the house, man, we'd have <laughs> tore it down. Again, the concentration, great job. They always talk about DBs don't have hands. Man, look at this film right there. That's great catching ability. But the pressure right there, see the pressure, Aaron? He couldn't step into the throw. So we all talk about tips and overthrows. Yep. That'll make your day. That'll make you some big time money. Tips and overthrows if you're focused in on them. So they're so excited defensively after the second half. Man, they really shut it down. The most important number is that eight right there. They had 21 pressures, wow. only eight points, made them That's uh, incredible. punt five times. I mean, just on and on. Interceptions, sacks, so many pressures. Great job by the defense. They won the second half adjustments. Paul Gunther, a lot of credit. There you go. Got this defense up and rolling. And we talked about needing to create turnovers, especially against a team like the Chiefs. Well, listen, Max Crosby, Jonathan Abram, couple of leaders on the defense, 
spoke with the media after the game. Let's take a listen. Um, honestly, it's it, it's every one of every one of us out there. You know, as a defense, we know that Mahomes loves to extend plays, and we had to give everything we had. Um, I know personally, I've I don't think I've ever been that tired. You know, so we're just we're just cutting it loose and fighting and fighting and fighting and trading blows and. Um, we came out with the win, so it's it's a huge deal. I was so tired, I, I couldn't even move my legs at that point. You know, I was so excited and relieved. And Jeff made an awesome play, and I almost, he almost scored too. So um, it was a huge, huge play in the game. And, um, you know, that's just a credit to him. He's been doing it for a long time at a high level. Yeah, you know, we're excited. We're super excited. You know, <laughs> winning any game in the NFL is, is a big deal. So, um, yeah, I don't think anybody really thought we were going to go out there and win today, to be honest. Um, so we just we just took it upon ourselves, dug deep, and uh, came out to win. Mm, no, nah, I mean, I feel like it was an important game to all of us. Um, I haven't been around here, but I know about the history. I know about, you know, what it means to win the games in our division. You win the games in your division, you go to the playoffs. So, you know, this game meant a lot to every single body. You know, these are the world champs that came in the game 4-0. and We had one mission. The mission was to beat them, and we accomplished that today. No, we're not chasing anybody. We're only chasing to be, we're chasing perfection, honestly. That's the only thing we're chasing. We're chasing to go out every day, like I said, to do our job on every single unit, every phase of the game, offense, defense, special teams. You do that, and as you see today, you win games. The past three, previous two weeks, you know, we put together some spurts of moments where we look good on defense, you know, have offense have its moments, but the moment that everybody is not on one accord and we're not playing together, then, you see what happens when the blues in games. So the only thing we're, we're chasing is perfection. If we continue to do that, we'll end up where we want to be at the end of the season. That's holding up the Lombardi Trophy. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks, everyone. And EA, this is a defense wow. that didn't have Malik Collins. That's right. Missy Mohurst yes. and Carl Nassib that's left right. the game. So but stepping up big when hey, needed to. Hey, Aaron, that's all I need to hear. I, you understand now what's coming in and out of the locker room being preached by the defensive staff, accountability, making sure you execute, just do your job, all those things, if you continue to do them week in and week out, you're going to get the right results that you got today. Yeah, absolutely, EA. Coming up, we're going to talk about a man who deserves to be in Canton. We're going to talk Tom Flores yes. when we come back. Don't go anywhere. By San Manuel Casino, official Southern California casino of Allegiant Stadium. The New York Giants, Pete Rozelle, and Wellington Mara, went out and signed Gogolak, the kicker from the Buffalo Bills. Well, our main concern right now in the NFL is making it as uh, strong as possible, and we haven't given thought to anything else, really. And there was an unwritten rule that we wouldn't sign each other's free agents. And the Giants and the National Football League, through its commissioner, broke the rule. Then they forced the NFL, the conventional league, at that time, forced them to emerge. Lamar Hunt, Mr. Davis, and they went through a lot to make that work. Lamar Hunt was working on what would be the framework of the deal, but it was Al who devised this plan that helped bring about the merger between the AFL and NFL. Without these two teams, there would have never been an AFL and NFL merger without the likes of Lamar Hunt and Al Davis. These two historic franchises in the Raiders and Chiefs are forever linked in NFL history. Speaking of these two teams, a man who has played for both, Tom Flores, not only played quarterback for the Raiders, only one of two in NFL history to win a Super Bowl as a player, assistant coach, and a head coach. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we wanted to celebrate what Tom Flores means to pro football. The first Latino player ever to start in the NFL at quarterback, right. the first minority coach to win a Super Bowl, and look at the doors that he opened there. So Tom Flores, I'm gonna put his name out there. This coach deserves his place in Canton. a Hall of Fame worthy career, highlighted by his ability to break barriers, Tom Flores made his mark as one of the greatest NFL head coaches to ever grace the sidelines. 
people are always giving guys credit for their X's and O's, but being a head coach is just much more than that. It's managing people. I think ultimately the, the thing that really created closeness was that he trusted us. All right, we know it has to be done, and we know how to do it. In the Super Bowl, in Super Bowl 18, you know, we're on the biggest stage. And I came over to Tom and I said, Tom, out and up, I can beat this guy. Ken Coffey can't cover me. The end of the story would be great, which is that I caught a 50-yard touchdown pass. It was incomplete. It didn't work. Christensen is the intended receiver. Nothing doing as Ken Coffey was back there with him. But the fact that he trusted a player enough to be willing to make the call, how could that not endear you to a head coach? The gentle but firm leadership style employed by Coach Flores during his nine-year tenure as the Raiders head coach helped him earn three AFC West titles, two Super Bowl championships, and the second most wins in franchise history, following directly behind his predecessor, John Madden. We always said Tom had a different coaching style than John Madden because John was a very physical presence on the side, roaring up and down the field, where Tom was more cool and collected. And, and his approach was a lot different for John, but he was a great leader. There was a lot of trust, there was a lot of love. And Coach Flory's teams always won. We were the best team. We deserve to be world champions. I'm proud of you. While he waits on his much-deserved call to Canton, Flores treasures his close relationship with the team that saw him go from young player to coaching legend. Raider Nation coach Tom Flores. Silver and black means a lifetime, a lifetime really, a lifetime of uh, excitement and joy. Overall, it was a great journey of happiness. Tom Flores really exemplifies what it means to be a Raider. Look, the first ever starting QB of the Raiders franchise. Of course, the uh, first minority Hispanic head coach in the NFL in both Oakland. Uh, he's done so much for the world of pro football. Is this yeah. the year Tom Flores goes into the Hall? Without a doubt, this man needs to be in the Hall of Fame. And once again, the Raiders uh, have been able to prove that we don't look at Coach Flores as the first uh, – minority head coach win a Super Bowl, we're looking at as a qualified, bona fide players coach. You know, that's what we all think about when we think about coaches who coach for this great organization. But again, he, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Won the Super Bowl as a head coach in 1980, yeah. uh, the year after he was hired. Yeah. He takes the team to the Super Bowl as a wild card first ever. And then, of course, in 1983. Players love him. Yeah. Players love him. <laughs> he does it again in 1983. We hope Tom Flores yes. makes it to Canton this year. When we come back, though, we are talking Raiders rushing attack in Arrowhead. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about that run game and how it did today against the Kansas City Chiefs. And this week's Intermountain Healthcare Impact Team of the Week is the Green Valley Knights. The premier youth football club has been a part of the National Youth Sports League in Nevada for the past 14 years and focuses on developing student athletes at multiple levels, including flag football, seven on seven tackle football. All Knights coaches and staff are volunteer parents who work closely with programs to provide equipment and fundraise to cover costs for all players. Congrats, guys, on being named the Inter Mountain Healthcare Impact Team of the Week. Speaking of impact, look, we've talked a lot about Derek Carr. We've talked a lot about Derek Carr's whiteouts, but we cannot lose sight of what the rushing attack did for this team today. Yeah, Aaron, this is what it's all about. This is how the Raiders are built. We'll be a power running football team. They were able to execute that today. First with the big offensive line, right? With the, all your guys back, Hudson Trent Brown and, is and there. Brown and Colt Miller and the guys. But the diversity of running backs you have are a key example of a John Gruden offense. He loves different backs for filling different roles. Here, book, you see a little high step right there. There you go. Outstanding job, way to finish the run. You put him in. Look at that, going on the right side where Colton Miller and, the, and those, and excuse me, where where Trent Brown is. He's outstanding when he gets to the second level. The line we're getting to the second level, allowing their running backs to really finish and finish hard. And here, right here, this is just athleticism. Boom. Just get up and get over the top. Sorry, guys. My man. You can't stop a man flying in the air like that. <laughs> no, you, just you can't. can't. <laughs> Especially when you have all that beef up front kind of pulling and, and, and making holes for that offense 
of running back Josh Jacobs to make it happen. That's like old Marcus Allen style right That's there. That's right. A lot of outside runs on the right. That is a good point. No coincidence. Trent Brown back. Of course, their tackle they needed big time, and it showed. Yeah. You have to have this power running game because it sets everything else up. And again, we talk about keys to a John Gruden offense. Whatever he has a successful offense, he has multiple backs doing multiple things, and today resulting to 100 and 44 yards rushing, 23 touches from Josh, and that's the number you want to get to about. We talk about volume all the time, and Josh needs to be above 20 carries, and that usually signifies a Raider win. That is right. Josh Jacobs caught up with the media after the game. Let's take a listen. Yeah, man, I mean, that's what I, uh, what I talk about every week when uh, I come in here and I, and I talk about just the little things um, and trying to execute the little things and not beat ourselves um, in a sense. And I mean, I'm proud of the guys, man. They play hard, hard today. And then this is the first time I feel like all year that we put in a, a complete game together. Um, so, I mean, against the former champions. So, I mean, it's, it, it was a huge win for us. I mean, having Trent, I mean, you, you see how that play out. <laughs> Honestly, uh, he's, just, he's just a freak. He's just a freak, and when he's healthy, man, he he he's it's nobody like him. Um, in the offensive line, man, we was we was hitting on all cylinders, all cylinders. Um, and like I said, I have the ultimate trust in them guys, uh, regardless of who's in, because I know that the preparation that they put in each week. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just feels good to come out with a win. This is Derek's first win in KC. Could you tell it's a big monkey off his back? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's funny because it clicked to me uh, in the locker room. I'm like, man, it's your first win. And I was like, man, I mean, it feels so good just to see him uh, and, and to see how good he played in this game, man. I mean, that was elite. And how he just, uh, being a captain, man, and just controlling the offense and, and making sure all the guys stay positive and things like that, I mean, it's huge. And, um, I mean, that's just a credit to him. Uh, we knew that this was going to be a very physical game. We knew we had to be physical with these guys. Um, and then not only that, we knowing that we're going to get a bye week next week, uh, it, it just gives you more of a reason to lay it all out on the line. Um, and that's what we try to come in and do, uh, just execute and, and come out with a win. Does this remind you of two guys, Charlie Garner, Tyrone Wheelie yeah. for you? It yeah, seems exactly. like a classic John Gruden one-two oh, punch in the backfield. It, it has to be. And then they had Zach Crockett, too, down the goal line. But, again, that's one of the signatures of John Gruden. He likes guys to be able to fulfill a role. Very important to give some rest to our, your star guy, but have that backup guy come in and make some great impact plays. And I'm very impressed by Josh. I mean, the way he talks, the way he expresses himself, mm -hmm. outstanding job they do down there in Alabama to get these guys ready to play in the league. And he showed up big time, definitely. All right, we are going to get you guys caught up with what happened around the rest of the league. Week five, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. at one point was a possibility and now 693 days later here he is coming back on an NFL football field Benji. and he's gonna throw and complete it to McKissick and McKissick gets it out to the 40-yard line oh boy you saw his wife Elizabeth and the kids though in the crowd I mean <laughs> and they love it but what a great moment it is right there that's fantastic why, former Raiderette, by the way, the standing ovation from uh, Washington, of course, excited to have Alex Smith come back 693 days with wow. that brutal leg injury. One of the bright spots of Sunday, didn't get the win, but certainly yeah. good to see Alex Smith. Yeah, back. shout out to the homeboy from San Diego Helix High School. I know you guys made him all proud. I mean, just great job, you know, just uh, just admirable how he's able to kind of keep it along and find his mm -hmm. Find his dream today. Definitely resilient from one Alex Smith. Well, here are your NFL scorers around the league brought to you by Sports Water. Taking a look at week five. One of the things that jumped mm -hmm. out to me, the Texans got their first win of the season after Coach firing. Romeo Cornell, right? Mm, you know, he kind of, you know, mm -hmm. got the guys back and rolling. What about that Thursday night score? Tampa losing. They're coming in here after the bye. So that'll be interesting. Tom Brady. That's right. Got to see Tom. That's right. How about, look at that score, 38-29, your Eagles. Come on now. Let's, let's, let's take that off the board. And I let's think they the might be winning the <laughs> NFC East, if that's possible. The Niners They're taking an L. They're getting relegated to like the SEC or something. I hope it is. The Niners <laughs> dropping one oh, to Fitzmagic and the Dolphins, 43 
17. Uh, it is time for a segment I enjoy. Yes. I like doing this segment Me week too. in, week out. It is time <laughs> for what was he thinking? Some head scratchers of the week. One of those being how about a lot of people saying the Raiders were going to lose yes. in Arrowhead? Everyone. Yeah. What were they thinking? I don't, the know. Question. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't know. Because I was all on the bandwagon. We were all on the bandwagon. That's right. There you go. Take a look. Those are <laughs> look the experts. Uh, everybody and anybody <laughs> choosing the Chiefs to win against wow. the Raiders. What were you guys thinking? Seriously, huh? They probably didn't think one second about the upset. That's right. And uh, for those of you that thought the Raiders were going to take an L, think again. Another person not very happy about what the experts are saying. Roll the tape, Akbar. Mooch, Kurt Warner, Michael Irvin, Rich, get your boys. Don't you guys ever talk about my Raiders like that, huh? I'm sorry, what was that? What was that prediction? All right, calm down. The Raiders. We in Las Vegas, baby. All we do is win. <laughs> Akbar's not love very it. happy there. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Showing yeah. the excitement. That's how everybody yeah. was. Right. Well, well I I think that's a great point is when yeah. a lot of people, when the doubters are against you, it gives you even more bulletin board material, right? Right. Yeah. No one thought, you know, but again, it's all about what happens in the locker room and how they were able to take that locker room vibe and all that connection and that positive energy and get on the airplane, fly down, not be distracted by all the injuries and make it happen down there. Make it happen <laughs> in a place that they didn't really enjoy right. playing in. And now maybe you're looking at the future schedule thinking, hmm, oh, oh, yeah. This isn't as hard as I thought. <laughs> Speaking of the Raiders schedule, when we come back, we're going to take a look about the bye week and we're going to preview the schedule ahead. Don't go anywhere. Raiders game day will be right back. Welcome back into Raiders game day. Here is a look at your AFC West standing so far. Of course, the Chiefs up by one, four and one. How about those Vegas Raiders though? Three and two, not far behind the Chargers and the Broncos tied at one and three. As we take a look uh, ahead of their schedule, they have a bye. They yeah. get a little rest, and you know the team is a little bit nicked up. Is Very right now so. a good time to have a bye? I, I think it's I think it's perfect, Aaron. And the way you go into a bye with a big win, again, it tells you that distractions really won't be an issue, won't be a problem, because you know down the schedule you have teams that you know you can compete against. Once you've beaten this Kansas City Chiefs team, if you're banged up or injured, you're not going to take mm -hmm. that trip. You're going to be in the training room. Room, getting healthy, making sure that you're an asset to this football team. So it's coming at a great time. Hopefully everybody gets back. Then you're dealing with a full set of yep. players. And then you know what? It's Raiders all the way. It's Raider time. That's well, right. and it's probably feeling good to have, you know, a win entering a bye as you take a look yeah. at our next four weeks. Uh, any of these teams kind of make you nervous? Well, again, I mean, Tom Brady, he's going to get to the line and check to whatever play he's going to check to, you know, and that's going to be the issue with that. So you're going to have to show him a lot of window dressing there, making sure you're not exposing yourself to, to big plays. Cleveland Browns, you got to stop the running game. They have two powerful runners. Guys are going to try and control the line of scrimmage just like we are. And the play action is going to be an issue. So, again, defensive back-wise, you can't get your eyes in the backfield. And then the Los Angeles Chargers, okay, we've got to take care of these guys. Because they left San Diego, really don't have a home. We've got to beat them up and send them back. <laughs> send them back home. <laughs> send them back. Well, right. Justin Herbert's been playing a little scary for me. Yeah, That's certainly has. a game you want to watch out for because they did give your the fantasy Chiefs team? some trouble. No, absolutely <laughs> not. I would never do that. Um, but let's talk Monday night picks because we've got a great game. Chargers on the road. Speaking of the Chargers, yeah. facing the Saints. We need to get picks. Marcel, of course, not yeah. here today, but you know he's got to get his game picks in because he's tied up with you four and two, doesn't want to uh, lose the lead. I'm going to go with the Saints. The Chargers have lost three straight. Right. I just think the Saints at home. Drew Brees, you got to go Drew Brees is getting hot. You know, we beat them, yeah. you know, so they can go on and beat the the Chargers kind of help us out too. Yeah, and what did we decide for Marcel? Did Marcel get his game picking? Because we're going to give him the Chargers. Him. We're going to give him the Chargers. We That's should give him the Chargers. <laughs> he picks the Saints. Okay, fair enough. All right, there is a Tuesday matchup. Mm -hmm. The Bills on the road taking on the Titans. This was a team we just saw, of course, yep. in the Bills. Josh Allen, very scary. Titans might not be 100% healthy right, even playing right. this game. Who knows the, what's the, going on there? Who knows what's going on there? Give me the Bills. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with you too. I'm gonna go with the Bills. Uh, Josh Allen playing at a really high level, like our quarterback is. So again, 
Uh, the Bills playing really good football right now. I think they'll beat the Titans. All right, what do we have for Marcel? Did Please pick... go for the Titans. Go for the Titans. Oh, come, come on, on. guys. We gotta, come on back there. We got to change the picks up when he's not here. That's, a, gotta... clean, that's a clean sweep. Everybody <laughs> no. says the Bills uh, and, the, and the Saints. But it's going to be an interesting Monday, Tuesday night. You have to wonder what that Tuesday night game yeah. might do for teams looking forward as they – all of these things are kind of unpredictable. Gonna, yeah, with what's it's going to disrupt everything this season. Yep. Certainly, but a lot of fun. Aaron Coscarelli, Eric Allen, the Raiders sit at three and two. It's been a exciting roller coaster of a season. We want to give you the best plays of the last five games. <laughs> Let's get it. Welcome everybody to a very special day for the Raiders and the city of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is officially an NFL city. Something I never dreamed that I would someday be saying. We all we got, baby. We all we need. That's all we got right here, all right? You're going to get everything out of me. I tell you every time. Give me everything you got and let's see what happens. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Car with time. Lots of time. Wide open over the middle. It is caught. Here's Jacobs. At the hole, touchdown! His second, his third of the day. That's a Josh Jacobs effect right there. Hey, let me get another Gatorade. Y'all playing good makes it easier for me. Defense, let's go. Back, and the Raiders hit him. I'm not sure he got it. I don't think he I'm got not it. sure he got it. Not yet. Here's Freeze. And it's intercepted. Oh, yes. It's picked off. Come on. Take a shot. Why wouldn't you? And it is caught. And it is a touchdown. Look at this. Car going to loft this one toward the end zone. And it is caught for let's the go. touchdown. Car on a throw oh, yeah. board and a wide open to Alec oh. Ingle. Throw, and throw. He got yes, it. Caught for the touchdown. Morrow with the catch. Yeah, boom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's intercepted. Abram running it back. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Vegas is going to win. I told y'all we were going to sight the world, cuz. Raider Nation, unite. Proud of you guys, man. Proud of you. Proud of you. Hey, John, it's time to be a man, bro. Come on, bro. We believe in you, bro. Come on. But it is a Here's Carr as they begin from their own 25-yard line. Waller's got some green grass in front of him. Running back. Play action from Carr. Throws a lazy okay, game. Jason. Okay, Jason. Okay, Jason. Carr on 35, slinging it over the middle. It's caught. Waller. Oh, second and third. Carr probing. Back in the end zone. He's caught. Yeah! Waiting for the touchdown. Yes! And how ah! many times Let's go, Wayne! Let's go, baby. Come on, baby. Let's show y'all young bucks what some swag is right there. Hey, you know swag. Deep ball. Upstairs. Oh, it's Henry Rowe. on second and six. Downfield. Connection made with Aguilar. Hand off. Jacobs up the gun. He wins the battle. Third down and nine. Mahomes sidesteps. Mahomes doesn't see it. Carr steps away. Downfield. Catch is made. Hunter Renfro. Mahomes drifting. Downfield. Intercepted. His first of the season. Jeff Heath comes away with it. And Heath could go. Carr and a handoff. Going up top. The Raiders get a break. This has been brought to you by Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Constellation, brought to you by Modelo, setting the gold standard for authentic Mexican beer since 1925. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. By Credit One Bank, the official card of the Raiders. By Twitch the official live streaming platform of the Las Vegas Raiders.